Hi, ladies. Welcome to my weekly live on YouTube. I'm really excited that you're here, and I think I have some pretty projects for you today. And of course, they're in a non traditional color. I'm using um, Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis, as well as Old Olive on these projects. And I, I think they turned out really nice. I, I really like them. So I'm happy that you're here. And um, I want to give you a warm welcome. And if you are new to my channel, please let us know so you can we can give you a warm welcome. And for those of you that are returning, I'm, of course, I'm always happy that you're here as well. Um, I see a lot of my team members jumping on and I'm happy to see you here. Anyway, um, this is a set that I'm using today, the Cheerful Daisies. So it is um, bundled still in the catalog. However, at the end of the month, it will no longer be bundled. So if you are interested in this, you want to get it um, before the end of the month because you get 10% off. So that is a pretty good savings. Okay. I'm also using this on the third project. And this is the basic borders. Normally, this is $29. However, it's on sale right now on the last chance list. So again, this is a good deal. I'm using this one right here for the box. You can see how I um, it's on an angle here, and I'll show you that in a little while. So I hope you like these projects. Um, the, I'm also watercoloring, which is one of my favorite things to do on our Fluid 100 watercolor paper. So let me see. Also, I wanted to mention to you um, that my In Color Club is going on and you have till the 28th to sign up for it. I want to explain it to you real quickly. As you know, every year Stampin' Up! comes out with five new In Colors. So it's a way for you to um, get all of these products on a budget and spread out the payment over five months. And then you get all the products as well. Now I am missing a couple of products because they're not available yet. But um, since they're five colors, what you would get is one whole um, sear, one whole color, the whole deal um, for one color each month until you have all five colors. So for instance, if you were, if your first month, if you were to get um, Shy Shamrock, you would get a full stack, um, pack of cardstock, which has 24 sheets. You would get the ink pad. Also, you would get the re-inker. You would get the roll of ribbon, which I opened it. See how the bow, how you can make a bow with it, and it turns out really pretty. You would get the Stampin' Right marker. You would also get the two blends. You would get the eight sheets of the DSP for this color. When you're all done, you'll have the whole pack, of course. And same thing goes for these two embellishments. And then you would also get the glimmer paper in that color. It's $66 for um, each month plus shipping. So if you're interested, please make sure you visit. Um, you can, If you can't find the form for it, just um, email me and I'll send you the, the registration form. But it is on my blog. All right. So let me go ahead and get started. This is the first one that we're going to do today. And I just, I love how it turned out. Isn't that pretty? So let me get these out of the way and we'll get started. So like I said, I am using watercolor paper. And this first piece, the base of the card is... 11 by five, you know, 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half. Hey, LaSheila, I hope you just saw that I sent you that, um, the um, PDF. LaSheila is on my team and my team members get all of my PDFs for free. So that's what she was asking for. So anyway, this is Orchid Oasis, and this is the DSP. And of course, this is going away. And I piece, have a piece of Orchid Oasis here. This one is Starry Sky, and it's going away as well. So we're going to put these two together. I also want to give a warm welcome to 
all of the new Close to My Heart makers that have been joining my team. And I believe we have some on with us today. So um, many of you know that Close to My Heart, unfortunately, is closing the doors and a lot of them are coming over to Stampin' Up. So I've had a number of them join my team. So if you're on, I want to give you a warm welcome as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And ladies, I um, wanted to tell you too, my Christmas retreat is sold out. And if you're interested in joining the waiting list, you can do so by just sending me an email and I'll put you on the wait list or, and, or if you're interested in the class to go, you can do that as well. So anyway, now I'm going to bring this in. Uh, Jerry, um, as far as close to my heart products, um, Stampin' Up! is going to be bringing some, some of them across for close to my heart makers, but eventually it's just going to be Stampin' Up! products and all the details are not worked out yet. Okay, so I'm putting two pieces together here, um, both basic white and the top one is embossed with the exposed brick embossing folder. Can you see that? So um, let me tell you, the, um, the bottom piece is three by four and a quarter, and the top one is um, two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. This time, we're going to put this on dimensionals. Jerry, I do have some close to my heart people on my team. So you would be able to buy the close to my heart products that they're bringing across from them, but I cannot sell them to you. And you cannot buy them from yourself. Um, only the close to my heart ma makers can um, sell them. Okay, so... Um, I have that on with dimensionals. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp some flowers. So I have these three flowers. Now I'm stamping the outlines of the, the three here. However, there is another stamp. Let me show you for each one of them for the insides. See what I mean? However, I'm using watercolor. So I'm coloring them in. If you're not comfortable with that, you could very easily do it, your, um, you know, stamp them in. Now, I am using stays on for this. And the reason for that is I'm watercoloring. So you have to use stays on so you, your ink does not smear. Here's a tip I want to show you, too. Um, on stays on and also Memento, they have this little plastic um, insert in there and it always pops off. So anyway, um, what you want to do is put it um, on with dimensionals. So then every time you take it off, it's not flying around. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up. And like I said, this is watercolor paper. So you want to give it a good push. Okay, we're also going to do this one. And then the third one. Now, um, so you don't have to see me um, die cut these. I did die cut them already. Okay, so we're gonna watercolor them in. I already colored that one. Okay, so I'm using the water painter and it looks like I'm almost out of water here. 
Uh, yes, Nancy, they went out a long time ago. Did you not get it? I paid Stampin' Up to um, send your catalogs out. Let me know. Apparently, you didn't get it or you wouldn't be asking. So, um, Nancy, I can send you another one. Okay, so I'm just going, doing the watercolor here. Good thing there's enough water on my brush. And then I'm going to go back and add some, a little bit of darker ink. And see, it's not perfect because it's watercolor. I'll put that one aside while I do this. Oops, too much there. Good thing it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Okay, so now I'm going to bring this one back, and I'm just going to add some darker shading on here, just where the the lines are. See what I mean? So it's it's kind of like naturally shows you where to put it. So did everybody survive tax time? Oh my gosh, that was last minute. But it's done, thank goodness. Okay, we're gonna bring this one back in. I, I can't believe that, Nancy. It makes me angry because um, I spent a ton of money to send those out. And all I do is you click on your address and in our system and order them through Stampin' Up. We had to do that about, I don't know, um, maybe four to six weeks ago. Okay, so I got those. All right, so then what I'm going to do, this large flower, I'm going to take the memento and the center of the flower I'm going to stamp and I'm actually going to stamp it again because I want that part covered up okay and then this one gets the smaller one so, ooh. and I already stamped that one in okay so let me close this up so I don't make a mess. And I'll just put these up here for now. I'll bring this back in. And I am going to stamp a couple of leaves. And let me bring this in. And stems. And I'm using old olive for that. So a couple of stems. And I'm going to stamp a couple of leaves. Okay. So let me get this out of the way. So I'm terrible with this. Okay. And I did die cut those as well already. So let me bring these in. If you all remember that have been following me for a long time, 
you all said, no, I don't want to watch you die cut. So that's why I do it ahead of time. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this together. And I'm going to start with the large flower. I'm going to put a few dimensionals behind here. Right before I went on, I dropped my ink pad here. <laughs> I didn't have time to change it. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is slide this one, and I don't even think we need it, only because it's being covered up anyway. So we'll just put this one right here. And, oh, thanks, Kelly. I'm going to put glue on the back here, just like that. And I'm just going to slide it in, and I'm going to put it on an angle. Okay, this flower, I'm going to pop up on dimensionals as well. Okay, and that's going to go there. I'm going to use one of the leaves. Let's put, oh, ooh. Put a little bit of glue on the back and slide it right there. So far, so good, right? All right, so I love this little flower. So we're going to put this on dimensionals as well. See, when I put this on, I didn't realize I was covering up that other um, stem because I wasn't sure where I was going to put it yet. Okay, and ladies, if you like what you see today, please make sure that you um, share my video with your friends. I would really appreciate it. It helps me um, get a larger audience. All right, so we're going to do another leaf. And Nancy, your, um, your registration or your um, came through for the cruise. So that's pretty exciting. All right, I'm going to leave this leaf for a few minutes. And for now, I'm going to take a piece of black um, cardstock. And I'm going to take this little, um, this is a embossing buddy. We're going to do some embossing. So I'm using Versamark. And this is going to say, um, wish, wishing you the brightest birthday. Now I'm doing this upside down because there's a straight line if we do it upside down. So, and it'll help me get it perfectly straight. Okay. I think I have. Okay. So let me bring this in. This is just white embossing powder. And we'll heat it up. And you can see it change. Okay, so I'm going to bring my little trimmer in here, I'll let, make sure this is dry bef so I don't smudge it. We'll just bring this in, and I'm just eyeballing it, so I'm going to trim it about right there, and about right there, and also on the bottom. I'm just going to put this in like here, just a little bit over three quarters of an inch. 
And that looks good. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. So you see the stem was covered up. All right. So to make this easy, I'm going to put one right here so it gets right in that spot where I need it. And the other one I'm going to put right here. So it'll go on just like this. So then I just have this last leaf to slide in here. Hi, Anne. Okay, so we're going to slide this in right here. All right, so, so far so good. And then... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some rhinestones. And I like to keep my embellishments in these um, DVD cases. And I'm just going to put some rhinestones on here. I don't always do them the same. Oops. Stuck to my finger. But I do try to do an uneven number. Put one down here. Okay, and then I have to grab the ribbon. All right. So this is Starry Sky, and this is going out as well. Um, it's retiring. So we're going to do a double bow here. So we're just doing the um, figure eight. And you want to make certain that you don't twist it. I'm getting ink all over my fingers, too. Of course you need it, Deidre. Okay. So we're going to grab a glue dot and put this on right here. Now, ladies, for those of you that like to scrapbook a lot, you can make your own um, embellishments here with these dies and create a whole page right around it. It would be very, very pretty. Okay, so we're going to do the inside now. Let me grab these. I need to then one second. For some reason I didn't have this cut. It's funny getting ready for a video. <laughs> you have to have everything just so so. Okay, so we're going to stamp this, and let me see how I did this. Okay, we're going to take the stays on again, and again, I'm using stays on because I'm watercoloring. Now, ladies, I do want to tell you, though, the inside, I'm not using watercolor paper, so you have to be careful not to put too much ink on here in water. Okay, so we're going to close this up. I'm going to put the center in with Memento. Okay. And next we're going to grab the old olive ink pad. Okay. 
and it's going to go off to the side here as well as one we're going to do a leaf perfect okay so we're going to take um the orchid oasis along with um, the water painter and again we're just gonna very lightly add the watercolor on here or add the color on here. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put these two pieces together. So. And ladies, I do have the PDF written for these already, so they will be on my blog in the morning. I have the PDF written and it's all ready to go. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to put this inside. Okay. So ladies, here is your first project. I hope you like it. Okay, the second one we're gonna do is this one right here. And I do wanna just grab a little handy wipe to wipe off my hands so I don't get ink all over. Happens all the time. Okay, so this one is the other orientation. Looks like that on the inside. And let me grab this. So again, for those of you that are just joining us, we um, my retreat, my Christmas retreat is already sold out. And the um, cruise is open for registration. Okay, so this is five and a half by eight and a half, and it is scored at four and a quarter. And again, this is Starry Sky, and this is an in color that is retiring. Okay, so now I have um, two pieces here. Let me grab these. Two. Did I grab the wrong one? I did. I have two pieces of basic white and the top one is four and a half by three and a quarter. The bottom one is four and five eighths by three and five eighths. Okay. Um, so the top one I embossed with the um, exposed brick. And what I'm going to do is lightly add some texture on here. So I'm going to just use the me memento. And this is a a stamp that is in the um the new oh gosh what is it called it's the the seashell one okay so we're gonna stamp this lightly on here and i like to turn it so it's not always going the same direction okay just wanted a little bit of texture Vicki, I always try to match my paper. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put these two together. And ladies, by the way, if you're interested in receiving these make and takes for free, um, please make sure you place your order by Sunday and use this host code, okay? 
And I wanted to mention to you that I am going to be having what I call a BOGO sale. Buy one, get one. And this is a new thing for me. And um, what it is, is I'm going to have all my retired stuff. And it'll be at regular price. But you pick out everything that you want. And let's say you selected $100 at regular price, at the retired stuff then all you have to do is um, place an order for $100 and you'll get all of those items for free. And all you do is pay shipping. So it'll be run on Facebook for just a short amount of time and I'll have all the details for you. Okay, so I also have a strip of the DSP and this is gonna go on right here, okay? All right, we're going to add some ribbon around here. And this is almost like a twine. It's only an eighth of an inch. So the slimmer that it is, it's the harder to deal with. And if you wanted to, you could put a glue dot right behind there to hold that. No, these aren't, um, it is not OPI. Um, it's called Candy with a K. And I forgot the 7-Eleven, I think it is. 7-Eleven Candy, but it's not OPI. It's that other one. But I do love... A Cajun shrimp. I used to wear that all the time on my toes, especially when I went on vacation. Okay, so we're trimming this off. Um, Jerry, it will be um, when I get back from my incentive trip. Okay, so this is going to go on right here, and this is going to go on with dimensionals. Some of these apart. Hey, Nancy. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now um, we are going to stamp a few more things. All right, so for this card, we're going to do, uh, let me see, two different stamps. Let me bring this one in. So we're going to stamp this one. And this will have the centerpiece here. Hey, Margo, are you new to my channel? And then this one. Okay, now again, I did die cut these already. In this one, I did color, okay? So let me go ahead and color the other one. So.
So ladies, if you're just joining us, I do have several guests on. Actually, um, I have some new close to my heart makers that have recently joined my team. And I want to give them a warm welcome. I'm excited to help them grow and build their businesses however they choose to. Okay, so I have that. And of course, I have the little um, stems here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first stem. And I like to put the... Um, the glue at the top and the bottom. Well, thanks, Margaret. Um, I'm glad you're here. I love it when people communicate. Okay, so I'm going to put this on an angle, just like that, okay? So this, this flower, I love this one right here. We're going to put this on with a dimensional. And the second one here, I'm going to add this in. Just going to lift this up. And this is going to go down here a little bit lower so the flowers don't like clash with each other. And again, this one is going to go on dimensionals. I need to cut a couple more apart. How long have you been stamping, Margo? Okay, so far so good. I have a couple of leaves I'm going to add on. Hi, Pamela. Thank you, Carol. That's so sweet of you. And this one is here. Now, what I did do is I ran one of these two in Old Olive, and this is in the same die set. I also ran one in the Orchid Oasis. Which one do you like better? I was going to slip it in here just for color. I have the Orchid. I put the old olive on the old one. I think the old olive still. Okay. But what I did was I just kind of tore it apart to put it in different areas. Okay. So, so it was an oven. Oh, look at, and you did old olive and that's what I chose. I did do a scrapbook page with this set and I posted it last week. And oh my gosh, well, it was a two page layout actually. And it got so much, um, so many comments. I was really happy. Okay, so I'm going to just slide this in here a little bit. Okay. All right. So now we're going to grab this piece of um, basic black and. Let's see, I'm going to bring in another stamp that says you made my day. So this time we have to use Versamark. Oh, that's funny about the blue. You do tend to, I think, have your favorite colors. I know I do. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And I'm using the, oh, great, Veronica. Are you also new to my channel? Hi, Nicole. Um, I just ran out, Nicole. I just have to get some more.
Well, welcome, Veronica. How long have you been stamping? <laughs> I'm just very careful, Anne. <laughs> okay, we're going to cut this on an angle. I'm just going to eyeball it. And then this one I'm going to cut a little bit longer to go under the bow. Great, Donna. Welcome. Oh, good, Nicole. I'm happy about that. So, Veronica, I'm, I'm curious, how did you find me? Okay, so we're going to put this down right here. And I do want some of the ribbon showing on each side. Okay. So let me grab my rhinestones here. I don't think I left any out. Let me just grab this. I don't like this straight up and down from there. So I'm going to move it over. Maybe I'll put it right there. That's good. I'll put one over here. And one right here. Okay. Oh, was that ever nice? That's really great to do that. Okay, so here is the outside of your card. Now we're going to stamp the inside. One of the ladies on my team, her mom is in hospice now. So that's sad. Okay, so again, stays on. Thank you, Donna. What time is it in Australia right now? Okay. Oh. And then we're going to bring this one in with the memento. I guess it would be hard for you to catch me live, wouldn't it? Okay, and then we're going to grab the old olive and stamp some stems and leaves. I'm going to bring this off to the side. Same thing here. Off to the side. That's one of the fun things about this business. You meet so many people from all over the world. Especially if you are a trip earner, too, because you get to see them on trips. And that's so nice. Let me get this junk out of the way. Okay, so we're going to color this up real quick with the um, Orchid Oasis. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. It is an awesome thing, though, for um, a card ministry like that. So many forgotten people. This, I don't, I'm not going to add that extra on this because it isn't watercolor paper. So I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so we're going to put that together like so. Um, you know what? I don't think I do have any stamps for Veterans Day. I don't know if I could be a hospice nurse either. That could be so that would be so difficult, especially with children. Okay, so here you go. Here is your second card. I hope you like this. And then finally, I have this cute little box here. I love it. Anyway, it opens up. I have a little Velcro um, circle here. And it holds a, a box of Altoids. All right. And now you can see how this is. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay. Thanks, Kelly. Okay. So let me bring this in. And I, um, let me see, let me give you the measurements on this. This is six by eight and a half. And on the six inch side, it's scored at one and five. Um, those are mints, Donna. Okay. And on the, um, the eight and a half inch side, it's scored at two and a half, three and a half, six and seven. Okay. So then um, we're going to fold on the score lines. Ah, uh, thank you. One of my ladies um, asked me today, could you please teach us how to how to make a box, how to measure for that. So that's going to be in my next training for my team as well. Okay, so um, what happens is it folds up like that. Okay, that's how it's going to be. So this part's going to be the top. So we're going to cut this off. So what we're going to do is cut on the inside of that score line all the way to the second intersecting score line and cut this off. See what I mean? You can see it like there. Okay, same thing here. And cut this off. Okay, so get that out of the way. And then these are going to be tabs. So we're going to take this and cut to the intersecting score line. And we're going to treat this like a tab. Same thing on this side. And I do have to use the die cutting machine to show you how I got um, the top done. Okay. All right. So this is going to be the top and this is four inches across. Hey, Lori. All right. So if you look at this, this is four inches across. So I'm going to take um, 
my marker and very lightly I'm going to mark it at two inches so I know where I need to place it in this in the center. Now remember I told you that I have um, that die and the dies are on sale right now. So I'm using this die right here in the basic borders. So all I'm doing is lining this up so the point of this will be in the center. And I'm making certain that it's pretty even here and here. When I get that lined up, I'm going to grab some washi tape. Oh, thanks, Veronica. Um, yes, I do. I come in at, um, I don't know, you're in, in California. I come on at 7 o'clock Eastern time, which I'm in Michigan. I will. And, and the thing is, too, it's going to be in writing on my blog. Okay, just so you know. So you get to download it. Okay, so see how that is? All right, now let me get this stuff out of the way so I can show you. Okay, so when you're die cutting, you need the platform number one, you need platform number two, and you need two of platform number threes, and they're numbered as well. Can you see those numbers? Okay, so I'm going to push it over here. It's weird. I'm right-handed, so I like it on this side first. Okay, so I'm going to just put this on here, and it just fits. Okay, and this is going to go over top of it. I'm going to crank it through. All right, so let me just get this out of the way. All right, now when you're taking this off, be careful that you don't um, rip the paper. So lift it off carefully. there. So now it, it puts the little V in there. Doesn't that look good? So now we'll just put the thing together. So we're going to push these in and we're going to put some glue on this. And the only reason for this part is so that when you put your treats in here, you don't have to put just those Altoids in here. You can put any other kind of candy in there. So um, it will... They won't be flopping around on the inside. So all I do, and you want to attach them to the back, and this is going to be the back. So I just bring this forward, hold it for a second, and then same thing over here. Okay, so see how I did that? Now I'm going to put the glue here and over on this side as well. Okay. And I just bring it down and it goes in the exactly where it needs to go because it can't go any further. And see how nice it all lines up? Lines up really nicely. So you might want to take your bone folder. Oh, thanks, Kelly. And just um, kind of burnish it in here. Okay. So again, these dimensions were six by eight and a half on the six inch side it was scored at so it was a taller side it was scored at one and five you turn it so it's long ways this way and you score it at two and a half three and a half six and seven okay so if i was to measure this it would go Two and a half, three and a half, six and seven. Okay. Oh, Nicole, you're funny. Okay. Um, so we're going to put these two pieces together. 
And where's my glue buddy here? I'm usually called the bow queen, not the box queen. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put these two together. And it looks like I have to trim this a little bit. And this is just going on with um, glue. So just get it nice and centered in here. Thanks, Nancy. That's so sweet of you. Okay. I did stamp this already. So let me just add some color on here. I was really lucky today. I normally don't pick up my grandson on Thursdays from school, but they were in a bind. So I had to pick them up and I was really nervous because I thought, oh my gosh, I got my video tonight. But believe it or not, I got stuff done early and I was shot. <laughs> If you all haven't tried watercoloring, you got to do it. It is, it makes you feel like an artist. The end result is so pretty. Okay, so this time I am going to add some color. So I'm going to close this again. And I just like to push on the top to get the color. See on top? So now I can add some more, some detail. Okay. Jackson is doing great, thanks. Okay, so I like to buy these Velcro little circles. And I used to get them at Joann's, but now I get it from um, online at Amazon, believe it or not. They're a lot cheaper. So anyway, I just cut the, the pair together. And then it'll have a little plastic... Um, coating on each side. So what I do is put it on here first and then you want to bring it down. You know, I'm going to take it the candy out of here so it's easier to, you know, see how it fits in there. See how it fits perfectly. All right. So then you just square it up, make sure it's even, and then you just push on it. And the first time you open it, you got to open it carefully to make sure that it um, separates correctly. Okay, so, so far, it's good. All right, now, um, where did my dimensionals go? Right here. Okay, now, I want to put this right here, but if I put it on the back, I'm not certain where the dimensional is going to land on here. So what I want to do is... Um, Cut these apart and I'm going to put the dimensionals directly where I want them on here. So then when I add the flower, it's in the correct spot. Just kind of center it, okay? All right, and then I'm going to add a couple of leaves. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Lori. And thanks for always commenting. You're always saying so, so many nice things on my, on Facebook. Um, you know what? I'll show you real quick, Patricia, as soon as I get this done. Okay. Because I always have gift cards on my desk only for, 
you know, to work it out to make sure everything looks good. I'm going to tear some of this off and stick some glue behind here and then just lift this up like that. And then I'm going to add one of the diamonds, but this time I want a larger diamond. Doesn't everybody want a larger diamond? <laughs> Okay, so let me see. I know it'll hold a gift card. Um, where did I put them? Is this them right here? Yep. Yeah. What you know, I have a Chico's. Okay, so it fits right in there. I'll put it on the outside so you can see. See, it fits perfectly. Okay, so you could add a little gift and then um, a gift card. So ladies, here are your projects for today. I hope you like them. I had fun making them for sure. And if you would like these um, sent to your home, just place an order by Sunday, uh, a minimum order of $40 or more using this code through my online store and I will ship these to you, um, send these to you for free. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate you spending your time with me and allowing me to um, earn your business. So thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.